Hi everyone, this is Mahali from Cloud Pages, and today I'm going to tell you about what is XMLRPC.php and how to check and disable it in WordPress. Now, XMLRPC allows you to communicate with your WordPress website and allows remote connections to WordPress. Uh, Windows Live Writer can directly post blogs to WordPress using XMLRPC.php. In its early days, it was, however, disabled by default due to some coding problems. Now the question that arises is that what exactly is xmlrpc.php? It is a feature in WordPress that facilitates the transfer of data with HTTP serving as the transport mechanism and XML acting as an encoding mechanism. Now many tools and publishing applications will not be able to access the websites without it. It's a remote procedure calling using HTTP as the transport and XML as the encoder. Now, XML RPC protocol was basically designed to be very simple while allowing complex data structures to be transmitted, processed, and then returned. So why was it created? It was basically implemented in the early days of WordPress. Now, these days it was common for people to write offline, then copy and paste their content into the web rather than using a web browser. Now, XMLRPC.php was introduced at a time when offline blogging was a thing where you could compose your content then publish it to your blog. So why do we need to disable it? Now there are a number of reasons why you should disable xmlrpc.php on your WordPress site, including the fact that it introduces security vulnerabilities. Now that cannot happen while you're using WordPress site. They can be targeted for the attacks. Now, there are two main weaknesses to XMLRPC which have been exploited in the past. The first type of XMLRPC.php attack relies on brute force. As you know, brute force attacks are favored for attackers because they allow them to bypass security tools that, are typically, dete that typically detect and block brute force attacks. As for the second one, it was a WordPress XMLRPC.php DDoS attack that took sites offline. This attack involved using a feature of uh, WordPress to send multiple pings to various sites, causing the sites to crash. Additionally, XMLRPC is no longer needed for communicating outside of WordPress, so there is no need to keep it activated or active. That's why disabling it will make your site more secure. Now, there are two ways to disable XMLRPC. Number one is using a plugin. Number two is um, using uh, just doing it manually I'm going to show you both of them today so let's just dive right into the demonstration so when you guys open your WordPress sites dashboard this is the string that you can see click on plugins from the left hand side menu click on add new now search for plugin disable XMLR PC and click on this one install now and once it's installed click on activate okay guys now this will uh, automatically implement uh, insert the necessary code to turn off the XMLR PC if you want this feature all, all you have to do is deactivate it right over here just by clicking on it and it will be deactivated now if you are not using cloud pages, then this is the way to do it using a plugin. But if you are using uh, cloud pages or any other control panel, you can disable it manually if you know how to edit your htaccess files. Please note that these rules uh, which, I'm going, uh, which I'm about to tell you are not compatible with Nginx or Open Lightspeed. You will need Lightspeed Enterprise or Apache web server and of course cloud pages do offer Lightspeed Enterprise so that's a good thing. So when you open your cloud page server, click on list website from the left hand side menu, click on your website, select file manager from the left hand side menu. Okay now in file manager click on public underscore HTML here you can see your dot htaccess files just click on it and a new window will appear with this code all you have to do is copy this set of codes paste it in the beginning or at the very end I'll copy it in the beginning 
and of course you have to come back on your server dashboard to copy your IP address which is this one and paste it where it says this XXX thing okay now once it's done just click on save changes and that's it that it will be done so let me just click on save changes okay guys now I'm going to show you how to check for it now all you have to do is copy your URL over here your WordPress site URL in this one I'm I'm doing this check using webdocs.com you guys can use any other validation service uh, service so I'm using this one so just copy your URL select XML RPC client and click on check so if it's disabled you will see this message over here this will show you that XMLR PC has been disabled on your WordPress site so that's it for today's and if you guys still have any questions just drop it in the comment section below thank you